junkfoodtaster.com. Yeah, it's time for candy. And these candies are all from Mexico. And I've got a lot of interesting stuff here. It's a chili lollipop. I <laughs> will do this in the very end because they said it's very strong. And here a little finger. This should represent a finger. And a beer. A beer lolly. <laughs> Very good, then something called marsapan. So I'm excited that it will taste like marsipan. So there's pulparindu. Ah, uh, yeah, tamarind product. Actually, this is also a tamarind product, and this as well. So this will be in very interesting spicy candies. And here's some bubble gums from Mexico called chick kits or something. Anyway, I'm just asking my ah here and some container. Maybe this one first with the duck. And the duck is Lucas. All right, and then open it from here. Okay. I'm not quite sure what's happening. And it strips this completely, I think. And we got this container, <laughs> which looks kind of strange. I open the container. Or oh, I try to. Ah, push, push. Oh god. Yeah, the best way to open it is like this. And here we go. And oh what is this? And we got the spoon. And I tasted basically. Mm-hmm. Ah. This tastes like tamarind. I'm asking my head watch is marvelous. Um sour and spicy. Very sour. So in Mexico, if you eat candy, you have to be a tough kid. Oh, oh. this is it's not candy. Is this a children's product in Mexico? Um, I'll try to get out this, this ball here. Um, I'll, I'll try to eat it. Mm, it's very hard. I think it's well, like bubblegum. And inside the super hot sauce, you got this bubble gum. So, this is crazy. Anyway, now maybe some marshmallow. This is crazy. It's really burning. Oh. But it's, you get into it, it's kind of funny. So, chocolate master palm. Okay. Here we go, it's very small. And um, let's get rid of the bubble gum that's cut here. I always cut stuff. Let's eat it. No. Oh. So super dusty. Um I think has nothing really to do with the German marzipan. It's different. And um, don't ask me. Uh, maybe I was like unboxing fail. What's to dust? Don't ask me why. This is well. Um. I don't know. It's sweet. Um. I don't know basically. Anyway, let's try the beer lollipop, whether it really tastes like beer or not. Let's do this. Okay. So many greetings to all my Mexican viewers. Mm -hmm. Um very sweet. Doesn't taste like beer, tastes like I don't know, lemon? I don't know. Mm. Anyway. Now this finger. This shall represent a finger. Yeah. Tastes good, the beer lollipop. Now I'm eating the finger. 
Mm. Boah. Tastes like herbs or something. Uh, I'm not good at Spanish. Um. Tastes like me ah, menthol. Tastes like mint or something. Yeah. Okay. I sort of got into this pulparindo. I need to eat more of this. Super sticky. It's super sour. And super spicy. Mm. Okay. But there's mo more pulparindo to come. Oh, I know. The name is here. I think Tamarind is the right name. Yeah. Um, I always say Pulparindo because this was the first Tamarind uh, product I've tasted. And let's check it out. So it again. I guess it's the same or sort of the same stuff like in here, but with a different consistency. And I eat it. <coughs> Okay. Um. <coughs> mm. Spicy, tasty, super sour. Taste addictive. Yeah. You get really into it. Feels natural. Um. Oh. I don't know. It's some. It's one of the things. You sort of don't like, but you have to eat it. Uh, mm, mm. Okay, anyways. So, four products are left. And we got this Swinkles Classicos. And yeah, let's try them. And this is the most advanced packaging here with a tray. And look at this. This looks spicy. Let's have it. Um, I know. What is this? Not too exciting. Anyways, now comes this. The Brandula. Here we have got Tama. Um, yeah. Got her own mascot. Very good. Here. Hecho in Mexico. Okay. Oh, let's, let's open it. Okay. And there's like a stick. It's something on a stick. Oh, it smells. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Why is there a stick inside? I have it. I eat. Um. Mm, oh. Um. I don't know. It tastes. This is the strangest packaging ever. That was raw. Oh, I have to clean my hands. Very spicy. I don't get the sense of this. Oh, <laughs> super intense off taste. Wow. Wow. This will be, I think, the burner in the end. Um, okay, so yeah, this seems to be a tamarind um, product as well, but it's not sour, it's just spicy. And yeah, this one and the pulpa rindu were kind of similar. Uh, this one was sort of out of the line. And this one is super, it's like burning in the throat a lot now. And yeah, Mexicans really like it spicy. Um, 
So there is the super hard hardcore one left and the little bubble gums. I may check out the bubble gums first before I do the last product for today. And it comes in super tiny boxes. And I'm not quite sure. Of course I eat all at once. Or at least three at once. Let's do this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, it's a typical bubblegum flavor. Um, oh, it's sweet. Um, the packaging is strange. Um, this is cherry. So I try also the second flavor. This is what it looks like. No cherry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ist ja keiner cool. Hm, ja. Das ist ähm, zwar für Relief. Aber ah, ne. I think the Aroma is okay. Ja, nice flavor. But this candy is here. Extreme. This is considered a candy. Okay. I hope you really enjoy this episode. Um, now the grand, grand final where um, check out this lollipop. Uh, I said it's from Mexico. I'm not quite sure whether I say something about Chile. Ach, Chile. Ch Chile. It's a Chile lollipop. But I think not the country. It's like Chile. Okay. And comes in this packaging which I think is really freaky. Oh, look at this. And let's make it sharp. Look at this. And I have it. <coughs> I bite into it. Okay. Just the inside. Mm. I expected it to be worse. Uh, it's also super sour. Um, it's not really chili. I don't know. I don't know what's the fuss about it. No. So this one was far ex more extreme. I think this is the most one extreme today. Yeah. Okay. I hope I'm not quite sure whether this is really representative about the Mexican uh, food industry. This is sort of all what I could uh, get. But I hope you enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching.